<laughs> Ready, gentlemen? Yeah, yeah, good to go. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vendor's table. Today we are joined by Jamie from JJP Studios. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And Noble of Noble Photography. No? What? Photography by Noble. Oh, photography by Noble. See, I was going to say something, but I thought, you know what, let me... Let me photography let me by it. Noble. Should we run that again? <laughs> we'll keep it in, we'll keep it in. That's someone um, else, you know? <laughs> it's actually... Oh, Is man! It? I bet you if you type for Noble Photography to someone... I'm going to check. <laughs> Noble yeah. Photography. Why did I even say that? I know it's Photography by Noble. Noble photography. Is it someone? Someone somewhere? It wouldn't surprise me. No, there isn't. Oh, okay. There's Gen Noble photography. Oh, okay. So but that's... yeah, photography by Noble. <laughs> that's the, sorry. That's common. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys a chance to intro yourselves. Noble, why do you do um, wedding photography? Uh, I actually enjoy doing photography. Okay. Yeah, so that was the first thing that actually got me into wedding photography. So I was I enjoyed doing uh, photography and um, weddings is a beautiful thing. Like, and I saw it as an opportunity to show my skill, my love and passion for photography, and show that into weddings. And I thought, okay, cool. Why not give it a try? And I tried it and enjoyed it. And that was it for me, to be honest. Nice, nice, Jamie. Similar to Noble, just love photography. Um, I actually used to be an event photographer. So birthdays, graduations, all of that. I actually shot the Noble's graduation <laughs> a lifetime ago. Um, yeah, people kept on saying, go into weddings, go into weddings. You know, you're, you're really good. I'm like, nah, weddings. Mm. Um, to me, like, you know, obviously if you if you shoot it wrong. Yeah, yeah it's you, one and you done. Know, you know, you've messed up someone's day. Yeah. Birthdays, you can get away with it somewhat. But weddings, yeah. nah. So I was really scared to get into it, even though I really wanted to do it. Eventually, just took the plunge. Like, you know, it was a sort of like a, a self-confidence thing. Mm. Um, I know I'm good. So let me... <laughs> I don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean in an arrogant way. I don't mean in an arrogant way. But yeah, you know, you, you have to be your own self-promoter, um, um, your sure. biggest supporter. So I thought, you know what, let me go into it. And once I got to that first wedding, I absolutely loved it. So, we're going to do some wedding trivia. Okay. Five questions. You seem nervous. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who can get the most. Um, just shout out the answer, if okay. you know it. And then whoever gets it first gets the point. Oh, all right. Only rule is you have to wait until the question is asked fully to f- say the answer. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ready? No. <laughs> Perfect. First question. Who traditionally gives the last speech? The groom. I was going to say, how do we even indicate? Just say what's... it. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. The groom, yeah. The groom. Novel's one up. Right. There you go. Next question. On the wedding day, what does the couple feed to each other? Cake. Two on, Jamie, nil. Man. On, Jamie. Just... Come on, Jamie. Come on. Tell my tongue. Gotta get into gear, my brother. What is the first action that a married couple will be instructed to take? Uh-huh. I think I'm going to say it's, it's probably to do. So I was about to say kiss, but... Yeah, that's the right answer. Oh. oh really? Yeah. They change rings, though. No, but then but they, that's, they're not, that's not officially before they're officially then. announced as married. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I hear that. 2 one. Jamie's <laughs> back in the game. <laughs> what item does the groom lift to reveal his wife's Help. face? Oh, no, 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 you, no, you have to uh, wait. You yeah, have to no, wait. No, you got to no, wait. No. That's fine. Hmm. I'm watching it to me, to be honest, you know, but... It's lady, it should. I talk <laughs> Nah Just to make it interesting We'll make it interesting We'll give that one to Jamie We'll give that one to Jamie I'm sure he would have guessed it right anyway Last question then The decider Who walks the bride down the aisle? Father See, No The bride's father <laughs> You should say traditionally Because that okay, one yeah, That, that, true, that was true. a bit Okay Yeah that's true Fair Because we see mums as well do it yeah. However what have you I'll got give that to Noble yeah. Says father the bride here So give it to Noble Three two. We live in a modern world. It's not all about the dad. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. I should have said traditionally, yeah, but, that's true. but we knew what we were talking about. Let's get into the discussion. So what's different about wedding vid- wedding photography to like just normal? What other types of photography do you do? It's a collection of everything. Yeah. Because you, 
you have to do portraits. You have to do, you have to be, um, Event. <laughs> event. You have to be a, um, a product photographer in yeah. terms of the rings and mm. details in the reception. You've got um, something else I'm missing. Um, what did I say? You said portrait, portrait, yeah. event, documentary. You, you have can, to. You can, if you want to be actually picky, you can say beauty photographer, fashion photographer, portrait photographer. Yeah. Like yeah. Like events and food. You're capturing you a whole lot. Of food. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Other kind of stuff. You've got to know about different kinds of lighting as oh, well. Yes. It, it's yeah, it's a lot. It's, yeah. it's a whole whole package. <laughs> Stressful, good, good stress, bad stress. It's, it's fun. It's, it's good stress. Ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> depends on the couple. Depends on you know how things are going on the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, obviously, if um, if we're str- um, short on time. It can be very stressful. Yeah. <laughs> time. 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 You time. need the time to get the shots. You need, isn't it? What, what's the process? What what goes into like the photography process of like a wedding day? Is it like a specific, in your head when you're like, when you get booked, is it like, I need to get these shots? Or do you prefer, do you prefer having creative freedom to shoot on a wedding day? Or do you prefer when it's more instruction led? Okay, I want these kind of shots and this and that. Obviously it's, uh, for me, how I do my stuff is I ask the couple saying, what do you want? Like, obviously it's still with it. Yeah. It's good to actually know what they want. Anything you say they don't have anything, any input, like they're free minded. I can just do what I want. That's different. That's fine. I can do that. But if they say, oh, this is what we'd love to see. Then I'll try to basically help achieve that goal. Mm. If it's realistic, some unrealistic <laughs> goals, no way. So literally try to achieve that. And if I can go further and do something more creative that I think they would love, then I'll go ahead and do that. So about first thing is to meet the, 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 the goal of the client. Mm. And once I can achieve that, then I can do whatever, which yeah. is, yeah. Same with you? Yeah, similar. Um, I always ask for like a, a short list of, yeah. of, you know, of what you want. Some okay. some give it, some don't. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there are normally, you know, there are normally like you know the main things to get. Um, obviously pictures with the the families and all of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like after getting all of that, and I'm happy with everything that I've gotten, I try to do something creative. If given the time, <laughs> again I go back to time. <laughs> time is so important. Um, yeah, always try to do something different. Okay. Um, you need that time factored in in, in the schedule. Oh, yeah. yeah. As in like complete set, but that this is just wow. just to get shots. Yeah. Do you get that all the time? No. No. Do you, well, even like obviously like on the wedding day stuff happens and like you might lose time and that's usually one of the first things that the people are like, okay, we can cut that. Yeah. But like before the wedding, is it that sometimes you don't get the time planned in? I know. Sometimes, really? sometimes Bef- no. Really? Interesting. So we've got to make sure looking forward that but how do you like push for that? How do you advocate for that? It depends on the planner, coordinator. Um, normally we have a chat with them beforehand. And what me personally, I always try and hammer in, please factor in time for portraits. Yeah. I mean, is, it, is it as early as like before they've done the timeline or when you get it sent to you? or Before, before the timeline, when the timeline is like, if they send it to me like a week before, I go through it and I'm like, yeah. mm, you've only given me like 15 minutes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you need to give me more than that. Um, and sometimes they give me 15, 20 minutes to do bridal party and couple. I can't, I can't work. I can't work at all. So what, 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 what is ideal timing for you and where do those timelines sit in the day? <clears throat> if you can give me 15 minutes of portraits with the the bride in the morning. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm happy with that. You give me at least half an hour yeah. with the couple. This is after the ceremony. After, yeah. after the ceremony, after group pictures have been taken, after the bridal party. If you give me half an hour, minimum half an hour, I'm happy. Okay. But the there's a benefit for having longer time. It's like you see certain pictures, you don't know what the sin or the behind the scene was. So there's certain things that needs to be done to be, to achieve that picture. Mm. It's not just, oh, I've got the camera, click, and that's it. I usually tell my couple all this like beforehand saying, if you give me five minutes, trust me, I'll, I'll, gi- I'll give you a picture, but it's going to be a five minutes picture. If you give me 10 minutes, 
I give you a 10 minutes picture, but a 10 minutes picture will be a whole, a whole difference compared to the five, the five minutes minute picture. Long. So it's not up to the client to decide saying, do I want a five minutes picture or do I want a 10 minutes picture? I've paid this amount for this guy mm. to come shoot five minutes picture. So it's now up to you mm -hmm. to now say, okay, speak to my coordinator, say we have to do this kind of thing. Now yeah. shuffle up. And yeah, so that's what I usually do. Okay. Um, yeah, I remember we had we had the five minute pictures at um <laughs> <laughs> you remember. <laughs> it worked, funny enough, but yeah, I can't always do it all the time. But yeah. You gotta work with what you yeah. get. Especially winter weddings actually. Oh yeah. Because oh, because you lose daylight. Daylight, yeah. So there's so you guys obviously natural light is the best to shoot in. No, yeah. no, not really. Yeah, no, not be, really. Okay, People it, fight over that. It, like it depends on the venue for me. Okay, fine. Yeah. What's what what's your favorite venue to shoot at? You can put me on the spot like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite venue? Your wedding venue. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> shot there. I haven't shot there. Um, but you know what? I'm going to say that. <laughs> Sion yeah. House. Sion House. House. I really, really, really want to shoot there. Um, it's got so much, so much potential for creating these epic shots. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot to work with there. There's a lot to work with. And yours, yours is? I'd say Highlands from the places I've shot at. So yeah. I'd say Highlands. Okay. So, yeah. yeah but there are other some... venues, but yeah, we Highlands have shot at. Highlands they got some good, good locations at Highlands yeah. as well to shoot at. Because there are multiple stuff you can play around with Highlands. So. Mm. You got the indoor, you got the outdoor. Yes. The marquee. Yeah. No, you can't, no. You can't do anything in the marquee. Well, you can, you can do that. If the deco is good. Yeah. Okay. Without a the deco, then you can't do anything. True. Yeah. True, true. But yeah, you've got the, the house and the, the outside and the grounds yeah, as well. The garden, the the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are nice. What is... Um, so you know when you've... How do you go about getting the shot? When do you feel like you've got the shot? You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you look at your camera and you're like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm happy now. Is it planned or is it often just like you've taken or do you actually do you take a shot and realise oh this is the shot or do you take it when you're editing you see it and you realise oh damn it's both yes <laughs> both um, sometimes when I'm I've positioned a couple like, like I've got it in my head I tell them to do it mm. they do it I step back I'm about to shoot it and I'm like ooh yeah Oof! <laughs> no, no, you, you, you guys are hot, and and I'll actually say it. You guys, no, you guys, you guys are hot. You guys have killed it. Um, then take the shot, um, and then sometimes when I'm when I'm editing a picture, I never thought yeah. mm. would look good after after doing something. I'm like, mm. yeah, like I'll call my wife, like, babe, come, 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 come and see this picture. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah. it's both. Yeah. both. yeah, it works that way, and because um, most times when you're shooting on location. It's like you're you're on the moment, like you're in the moment, like literally you're not looking at the back of your camera sometimes. Yeah. So you don't know what you've shot. You're just like, until you get back home and you sit down. And sometimes you think you've shot something really good. Yeah. You get on your computer, that would blow your mind that you've, there's something there that you don't like. Yeah. And you end up not even using that picture. So sometimes it's like I didn't want to go there, but you, yeah, you no, we kind of have to. We kind of have to. Both sides as well. It can't even be good. Here. Like sometimes you think you've done it, then you get home like oh, I can't edit that bit out, and I can't use that picture. Yeah. So it's that little time. We go back to time it. Like if I had the time, I could look at my camera and say, "Oh yeah, that stuff needs to move," mm. and we move it and we get that picture there. And yeah. So what about like when you get shots? And like you've got like a guest head in the way of like an amazing <laughs> shot, but it's there. We did something together actually. Yeah, um, we shot together. Um, he, um, there was a picture of, a, of the bride and, and the, the bride's dad walking down the aisle, and it was a stunning picture. But there was this lady with her phone in front of the dad. I really, yeah, I sent it to you. I see. Was you. My wedding, your wedding? No, my wedding. Yeah, in um, Richmond Park. I sent you the picture. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. And yep, yep, literally yep. that that was the only, but I, I really liked it because the dad's expression was really good. Daughter's expression was really good. So I'm like, come on now, look at this thing. But, mm. but some, some kind of thing, you just have to capture it. It's, it's the whole documentary style photography. Yeah, yeah that's another <laughs> photography documentary. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Um, for me, I'm very, 
I think I'm getting this bit of a, a rep of a no nonsense photographer. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're laughing already. Um, you're chasing other uncles. Like I, I take no prisoners. Like if if I if, if I've got a shot and one guest is doing no no, auntie uncle please respectfully. I'm mm. like please can you just get out the way? Yeah, you need to. I think you know? I I've started now when I'm seeing. I always I'm always just like if they're doing entrances, I'm, I'm like. Please, let's make sure we're not getting anywhere with the yeah. photographers and videographers so they can get the shots. They've paid a lot of money to have them here, so we need to make sure we document it correctly. <laughs> and, that, and that's becoming a thing now. Like, everyone with, with a phone is just coming into the middle, blocking everything, and yeah. making our job so much harder now. And it's because everyone's trying to get, like... That shot. Yeah, trying to get yeah, that shot. The angle, or, <laughs> that like, shot. something that's going to post, post on stories, social media. So like, like, what's, what's the view on social... How social media has had an impact? On the industry It's been great It's, it's positive and negative yeah. You know yeah. um, Obviously positive We can get our work out there People can see it Very easily mm. It's not all about Just going to someone's website They can just go on your Instagram They can They can see everything They can see You know Now they can see BTS Of how we do stuff oh, yeah. Um, Which is yeah which is, which is great But obviously Do you want to talk about negative? Let's call it a negative like we just said, everyone wants to get that shot. Yeah. Um, people want, and, and I'm going to say this as well, vendors as well. I knew it was going to go there. Vendors as well. <laughs> like, I love my my fellow vendors, but <laughs> some of you are making our jobs hard. Harder than it needs to be, you know? Um, I give the example of the bride and groom when they are um, dancing in, in into the reception. Okay. Everyone wants to, you know, record them dancing in. Cool. But I like to think the most important people are the photographers and the videographers, right? Facts. Um, everyone wants it. Everyone from the caterers, from the from the decorators, from um, the MCs. You know, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna I'm, <laughs> everyone's on blast. Everyone's on blast. Um, they want to get that shot. They want to, you know, create their reels, which I get. I hundred percent get it. Mm. But. You have to, just have to be mindful of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not at the detriment of you know yeah. the actual footage that the couple paid you for. Know, and that's like um, stay with I, them. I can't remember who it was. Um, a couple were dancing in from a wedding I've, I edited recently. I can't remember wh- where it was, but yeah, I had a vendor behind them recording oh. them from the back. If I'm shooting straight, oh, yeah, gonna see, I'm, gonna I'm, be... I'm gonna see you. Yeah, yeah. So you know, just be mindful. Um. So yeah, then obviously, in terms of um, uh, couples, clients, they wanna, they want everything quick, which I which I understand. Um, you know, you wanna relive your wedding day or event doesn't have to be a wedding um, straight away, um, but you know they they wanna post on social media the day after, two days after, and sometimes it's not it's not possible. It's not. Yeah. So what's the editing process like? You you've got to go through all the. Do you yeah. go for every single picture? So, yeah. You, you have Probably. to go back. Go back home first. <laughs> 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 you have to go back home. <laughs> You're going to have to basically back up the photos. Mm-hmm. It doesn't just work like you click a button and it backs up. It takes, it takes time. a while, innit? Yeah. You have to go through all the pictures. If you have two photographers, you have to go through mm. two photographers' worth of pictures. True. So, for example, if I shoot two grand pictures, Jamie shoots two grand pictures. I'd never shoot two thousand. Never shoot two thousand. He shoots like three, four thousand. He shoots a lot more than I. Do. More than two. Yeah. So wait, on a wedding day, on a whole, yeah, on a wedding a whole day, day, yeah. Minimum. See, I'm, I'm editing the wedding at the moment that we, we both shot together. Um, I took four thousand pictures. Yeah. Four thousand pictures. Four thousand pictures I took. And then, and then, so the, and, and then, then that's and not then, even the second shoot. As no, well. no, 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 no. No, we took two. <laughs> so six. <laughs> six you got to scrub through six thousand pictures. <laughs> yeah. To find that little album. Um, and then how many pictures do you end up sending? It depends. Yeah, it does depend. Um, mine ranges between um, five and eight. Four hundreds. and seven. Oh, <laughs> five hundreds. and eight sorry. pictures. No, five, oh. eight, sorry, 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 sorry. Five, five to eight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, it's still a good amount. It's still a good good few from that, from that range. You don't need any more than that. No, you actually don't need more than that. What? I mean, even if, I was, if you sent 800, they're not seeing all that. They're definitely not looking at all the 800. But it's good to have. Yeah. But this is obviously, I guess this is covering the range of like from bridal prep all yeah. the way yeah. to yeah. the dance yeah. floor. So the there's so much to capture. 
What's your favourite part of the wedding day to capture? To capture? Mm. It's portraits for me. Yeah, the couple, couple portraits. Couple, couple portraits. For me, it's hard because I enjoy the prep, which is crazy. I enjoy the ceremony part. You're cheating here. You've got to pick one. Yeah, I, I'll come back to it. Specifically, yeah, okay. At least <laughs> so, you're, least you're however many, then we'll yeah, need to pick one. I enjoy the ceremony part. I enjoy the portrait part. Reception is the, it's just like documentary. You just capture it everything. But when I, I enjoy the ceremony because literally I'm not stopping anything to happen. Mm. It's just beautiful. You have some stunning ceremony and especially when they share their vows and stuff like that. It's just like, oh, wow. Mm. So for me, I really enjoy those moments. And um, well, in terms of photography part of it, the portraits for me would be the one. Yeah. Okay. Man. Yeah. But in terms of a wedding, out. the ceremony is the one. No, the ceremony is nice. I, yeah. no, I, I really like shooting the ceremony. Yeah. Um, well, you mentioned the vows just then. I always, this is so silly. <laughs> I go back to my wedding and seeing how, you know, I said my vows to my wife, she did it back to me. Always, I always go back to that. It's it's beautiful. Yeah, it is it's nice. Beautiful. It is nice beautiful. to hear it back over again. Mm-hmm. Um, so you got married, when did you get married? Is it? I got married September 2021. Okay, so just over a year. Yeah, so over a year. Um, how long had you been doing weddings before you got married? My first wedding was April 2018. Okay, fine. 2018? Wow. So that's a good a good three years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I see. Minus the C word that shall not be mentioned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but... For well, four years, minus, minus one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah. Good yeah. Years. So do you think that your wedding or the planning process or the process to get all your vendors in place was different because you had been in the industry or... I had a spreadsheet <laughs> before I met my wife. Right. I was just updating it here in... The, yeah, I really... I really but is it because you worked with people or just, you were just, you just knew what you wanted? I heard you, I heard from like, oh. from some, some of the, I think it was the, who's the photographer? Oh, Derry. Oh, Derry shot my wedding. Oh. Who's the photographer? Kyrie. Oh, no, it wasn't. I think it might have been... No, it wasn't any of them. Someone was like, you was a groomzilla. I was. You oh, were. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you knew exactly who you went, but is that because you'd worked with them before? Um, or you'd seen their work? Seen their work. Seen their work. Did you, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. There was one vendor I wasn't particularly happy with. I'm not going to name who it was. Mm. Um, but yeah, didn't really, not, not why I asked. Them. It delivered the way you oh. expected. Would you, would you have done it differently now that you've done it? Mm-hmm. Your wedding? Yeah. Really? Not hire that vendor. <laughs> Is that just, that's the only change you'd have made? Um, maybe, probably one more thing. I can't think of what it was, but um, yeah, definitely change that vendor. Um, <laughs> so as... You have, you have to be honest. Yeah. What, um, so obviously you would have had a lot more experience in weddings than like the average person mm-hmm. just getting married. What did you not know before getting married that you discovered during the process or after you got married? Hmm. I didn't know you had to, um, what's that thing? You have to go to your local council. Oh, to um, put notice in? Yeah. Oh, it was had, like 30 had, days before or something like that, isn't it? I can't remember how many days, it, how many days before it is. But 30 days. Yeah, m- yeah. maybe. It's, but yeah, I, days, I, had, yeah. I had no idea. No idea you had to do that. Um, so I so I got mine done very last minute. <laughs> I feel like that's everybody. <laughs> <Very, laughs> <very, laughs> but it was so it was so bad. Um, but yeah, that I definitely didn't know. Oh my god, the cost of hmm, the cost of catering. Oh my god, that like, shocked you. Yeah? yeah, it shocked me. It shocked me. <laughs> it shocked me. And the thing is, with um, with my venue, it doesn't have a kitchen. So they have to bring in a mobile kitchen. Oh, uh, so you have to pay for mobile oh, kitchen? I have to pay for that as well. And we didn't factor that in the cost. Okay. So that was another, so was it, another two, two grand. For the mobile kitchen? Yeah. Oh. So make sure the venue's got a kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Couple make sure you get a 30 days notice in mm-hmm. before getting married. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? What other, what other bits of advice should we give to couples planning their wedding? Give your vendors time. Give, yeah, As in yeah. booking them in advance? No, no, no. no, 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 no. On the day. On the day. On the day, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. when you, the two things, you go back. 
after your wedding to look through uh, your videos and your photos. And these photos more. Yeah. Yeah, we're biased. We're biased. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just give them the time, and um, yeah, because it's for your best interest. So okay. Any of us other than the two gems you've just dropped as well? <laughs> I think no. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And those are two worth. Oh wait, no, me. another one. Uh, it's still it's still about timing, regardless. So, for example, you. You have your makeup artist, you have your hairstylist and stuff like that. So when you do schedule your time, give buffers. For example, add a bit of time to say, okay, I know we've scheduled this for, for example, makeup artist for an hour. Behind the scene, obviously you have like a 10, 15 minutes buffer. Because over time, what, you, what, what happens is if the makeup artist should take longer than an hour, that time cuts into mm. other times yeah, and it's so cuts to go. Kind of so, mm-hmm. like, exactly. So if you give buffers for everything and yeah you wouldn't be disappointed at the end of the day yeah. okay nice nice I've actually thought something else now um, it. it's not about cost I'm not talking <laughs> about photo or video I'm talking about all vendors here um, obviously weddings are expensive couples want to keep costs down but sometimes it's worth paying that bit extra to get the better vendor um, someone who can actually you know can execute your vision yeah. um, have complicated have conversations with with your vendors multiple if you feel that they're not really understanding your vision. Mm. Um, this next one's a bit, <laughs> bit controversial. Throw um, in, throw the bomb. Don't be afraid to walk away from a vendor, even yeah. e- even if you've paid a deposit. If they're not if they're not if they're not getting it, if they're not replying you on time, oh, okay. Um, you know, and you just have a feeling in your stomach that mm. something's not right. Listen to it. I've heard so many brides tell me, Jamie, I really wish I didn't go with this vendor. Really? They have, they have messed me about. It's not, it's not worth um, sticking with that vendor because you've paid them some money. Yeah, because if you think about the investment in the whole day, you know, that one vendor could bring it down. True. Yeah, definitely agree with that. I love all that. your vendors, by the way. Like, I know I'm, I know I'm yeah. yeah. No, but you have, to, you have to call it out. I mean, not, obviously there's there's ranges of like professionalism in the industry. There's ranges of quality and all yeah. that sort of stuff. So um, you do have to be mindful of that. And as well, you have to get, I feel like, you're, especially for those vendors that you're going to be spending a lot of time with on the day, you have to get on with them. 100%. You have to have a good vibe with your 100%. photographers, videographers, planners, coordinators. MCs. MCs as well <laughs> but MCs yes but less so than you guys because yeah. we don't like directly spend time with them but you still got to have a good relationship with yeah. them because you're kind of um, getting their story across mm. through your MCing as well so um, yeah everyone you, you actually got to have a good relationship with everyone um, where can people find you guys on socials on social media Instagram yeah. website what's the what's that out on Instagram what's the website oh mine is photography by Noble JJP Studios. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. So it's been a pleasure having you guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much um, for having us. Hopefully the people them have got some gems. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely making sure to note down that 30 day thing. <laughs> 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 it can't be day 29 now. After all that planning, you have to now move your wedding. Because you can't do it without, have we, without the can, notice. You cannot do it without the notice. Yeah. Well, that's when you... Or you can... No, you can you can do you can do this you can do, you can do the you can but do you the won't have the registry yeah, exactly. yeah, but you, but you, you can't be legally married without yeah. that. So you're yeah, actually just doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um yeah, it's been a pleasure, guys. Thank you for joining us at Avengers Table. Um find us on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, and we'll see you next time.